Hi, welcome to day two of Simplifying Fractions. And today we're going to get into greatest common factors, or sometimes people call them the GCF, the greatest common factor. So yesterday we talked about factors and how they're all the numbers that go into a specific number. So a greatest common factor would be the biggest, the greatest, factor that the two these any two numbers have in common. So we would do similar to what we did yesterday. This one has 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. Those are all the factors of 4. So that's 1, 2, and 4. And then 20, of course, it's going to have 1 times 20. It ends in a 0, so it's even. So it's going to have 2 times 10. 3 doesn't go into it. 4 times five, six doesn't go into it, seven doesn't go into it, eight doesn't go into it, nine doesn't go into it, and then 10, we already have 10, that's halfway, so we don't have to keep going any further. And it has one, two, four, five, 10, and 20. So we're looking for the ones they have in common is one, two, and four. And the greatest one that they have in common is four. So the greatest common factor of four and 20 would be four. It can be one of the numbers, that actually happens quite often. If the number goes into the number, if four goes into 20, that means it was gonna be the greatest common factor. Okay, we would have, could have known that from the beginning, but I just wanted to show you the process. So let's look at one where this number does not go into this number. So we know 12 does not go into 20. So let's write the factors of 12. There's one times 12, two times six, because we know two goes in there, um, three times four, five doesn't go into 12. We have six times two already, so we don't need to continue. So we have one, two, three, four, six, and 12. It's a lot of factors. Now we already did our factors over here for 20, but just as a refresher, one times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. So we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So now we're looking for the one that they have in common that is the greatest. They both have 1 in common, and 2, and 4. They don't have 5 in common. They don't have 10 in common. They don't have 20 in common. So the greatest common factor that they both have would be Four. Okay, so that would be our GCF or our greatest common factor. So yeah, so now you're going to go and try this with a variety of pairs of numbers and see if you can find the GCF, the greatest common factor. See you tomorrow. Bye.